Hey there little ones, your Guitar Sage here. Today we're going to learn how to play Bad Moon Rising by CCR, Clearance Clearwater Revival, a band from the 60s that was really cool, 70s, early 70s, late 60s, something like that. I'm sure someone will correct me and thank you ahead of time. Okay, so here we go, um, Bad Moon Rising. Uh, it's it D, A, and G for the most part. Um, and when I say for the most part, I mean the entire song. And um, here we go. I'm going to play it, and then we'll talk about all the bits and pieces. Really, there's two basic chord progressions to this. And here we go. I'm going to show them to you. It's going to go something like this. So this is the verse. strumming method. We're going to talk about all the bits and pieces here. So, um, for those of you that didn't get what I just did, stick around, because here we go. Um, and also, if you haven't already, if you haven't visited yourguitarsage.com, do so, especially if you're subscribing to these videos, because every video that I put up, I have a, um, uh, a chart that uh, will really hasten, or really quicken your um, your learning process here. So check out yourguitarstage.com, get that ebook, especially if you're subscribing here because it's going to help you a ton, okay? I hope um, your guitar stage will explain it, okay? Here we go. Um, the chords are for this song D, A, and G, okay? And here are the two basic rhythms, okay? Song's in four, and like, go. Uh, Two, four, one, two, three, four. That's how we count it because we count it with a snare. Usually, snare is on the two and the four. So, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two. The bad moon rising. Okay, so that's how we count songs when we say they're in four instead of eight or two or something like that. Okay, sir. So, um, talking about Bad Moon Rising. And um, don't get anything with MSG in it, kids. It's bad for you. It messes with you. Um, okay. I think that was from like a Chinese meal from like 20 years ago. Here we go. Uh, D for whole measure, four beats, right? A for two beats, G for two beats, and then two measures of D. Again, it's going to go one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. I suggest that you learn songs like this if you have, especially if you're having difficulty with strumming, because a lot of people go, well, "What's a strum?" and I want to know the strumming right away. Well, if you don't, you can't get this in just block chords like this, throwing the strumming in is not going to help you. It's going to make it more difficult, okay? So learn it this way first where you can count it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll talk about strumming in a minute. The chorus is going to go. One, two, three, four. Two measures of G, G, two measures of D, a measure of A, a measure of G, a measure of D, and another measure of D. Okay, so it's two G's, two D's, 
A and G, two more Ds. Okay. Again, if you'd rather not write all these notes down or all, all these chords down, go to yourguitarstage.com and uh, I'll tell you how to get a hold of the chart. Okay. Um, what else? Let's talk about the strumming method to this. Oh, two. By the way, the song's gonna go. Um, it's those two basic chord progressions, but it's gonna go intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, solo, verse, double chorus, and then that's it. And it's on D. Okay. So strumming wise, this is what I'm doing. So I kind of do this like mute on the one. I go one, two, three, four. So my hit is on the two. So I'm going one, two, three, four, one, two. They just try to force things too quickly. You gotta take time with things, just like you would anything that you're learning. Take this D chord and just play that rhythm. You know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Get used to that. Because that's the bulk of this song. And if you can do that, you're gonna get the song back and go to the A. Super easy tune. All right, let's get out of here. If you haven't already, hit subscribe so you can get these videos in your YouTube box every day. And also, if you haven't already, go to yourguitarstage.com, get the ebook. It's going to help. Helps feed my cats too. Okay, kids, go practice. <laughs>